case. So here I am in my MySQL workbench connected to the database that I created whenever I went through the setup process. So come over here and then you right click and click uh, create schema or schema, whatever. That's basically going to be that database. So give it the name of components, which I have already done, and then create it. I'm going to not save that because I already did it up here. And then whenever you do that, um, you'll be able to see, oh, you have different tables. So I went and created three different tables, one called categories, and then I'll show you what that looks like. So ID, the name of the category, and the owner of it. And then the ID is auto incrementing, make sure to check that. So each ID is unique. And then I have uh, parts right here. So the parts each have ID, category, name, quantity, owner, location X and location Y. Make sure all of these are spelled you know, the same and make sure they're all in the exact same order as I have it on here or else the website code will not work. It'll be all messed up. And then lastly, users. You wanna have it uh, ID, username, and password. Here is the opened container, and here's the lid for it, right there. So I have a little strip of surface mount 0805 220 ohm resistors, and I'll go ahead and place that inside the container, so they fit pretty nicely in there. I'll go ahead and replace the top back on, and then I'll go ahead and secure it. So on my laptop here, I have a custom Python script running, and it's running a Flask uh, web server on it. So it'll basically listen for Git requests that arrive from the website. I go and say, okay, I want to change my 220 ohm resistor by one, and it should go and get it. So let's go ahead and make sure that you can get it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take my part right here, take whatever I want out of it, I'll put it back underneath it. After I'm done, it'll pick it up, and it'll take it back over and drop it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so you can expand it to however big you want. You know, it's a pretty scalable system.